Hi guys, it's Amy here and today I bring you my August TBR. So it's been a couple of weeks since I made my last video just because I am moving house soon and so it's a little bit like crazy at the moment and there's loads of stuff to organise so if my videos are a bit sporadic that is why. I'm hoping to pre-film a ton of videos today so that I can get those up and have them running whilst I'm moving all of my stuff out of my house and into my new place. As you can probably guess that is a huge thing to do especially with the amount of books that I have and I'm gonna have to try and coordinate them and buy bookshelves and things because my new place doesn't have all of the stuff that I've got here so yes stress. <laughs> I'm thinking about possibly filming my move of the actual books and then my like reorganization or something at the new house a vlog of some kind I don't know I'm gonna see how how it all goes if it's really stressful and I just like don't think of filming then it may not happen but possibly I will be doing that. You'll get to meet my best friend Lydia who I'm moving in with I'm so excited you guys will love her because she's awesome. So yes that is where I am at the moment just a little bit anxiety ridden just because although I'm very excited about moving out I just I just like worry about things like a lot and so I am just looking forward to getting in there and being in the house and having everything set up and not panicking about it. So yes, let's get onto the video. I'm going to share with you the books that I hope to read in August. Now in most of my TBRs this year I've put like 10 books because that's on average how many books I've been reading each month. There is no way I'm going to be reading 10 books in August, especially as, as well as Moving House I'm also going away for a festival and so I've halved the amount and I think I've got five or six books here that I hope to read and they're quite short ones or ones that I've been really excited for and I think I'll get through really quickly. So let's go into the books. First book I have to show you is Mr Fox by Helen Oyemi which is very shiny because it's got one of these library like sleeves on it but I kind of want to keep it on there just to keep it safe. So as you guys know if you've been here this year I am reading all of Helen Oyemi's books this year. This I believe is the second to last one maybe? Yeah possibly I don't know. To be honest with you all of Helen Oyemi's books so far this year have been pretty mediocre like I'm pretty sure they've all just got like two or three stars. I don't think any of them have got four stars yet so hopefully this one will do it. <laughs> Next we have a World War II related book because I didn't read one in July which is really unlike me and I felt like I was kind of like missing something so this month I'm gonna read a very short one. This is Magda by Mieke Ziervogel probably butchered that name. I picked this one up after seeing it on Simon of Savage Read channel. It just sounds like it would be something that's really up my street. It's about Magda Goebbels, the wife of Joseph Goebbels, who was the like propaganda minister for Hitler during World War II. I believe this one is like a psychological depiction of Magda and her life and how she came to be married to Joseph Goebbels and then end up killing all of her children come the end of World War II. She poisoned them because obviously she believed that death was a better future for them than whatever was coming come the end of the war. So that to me is incredibly interesting. I just love stuff like this like so much so I will definitely let you know what I think of this one come the end of the month. A non-fiction book I hope to read next month is Men Explain Things to Me and Other Essays by Rebecca Solnit. I have read another book by Rebecca Solnit a few years ago and I didn't really enjoy it. That was a field guide to getting lost so I'm hoping because I'm quite interested in feminism and things like this this is maybe just going to be something that's a little bit more interesting to me because I feel like that one just I just wasn't very interested in the topic so hopefully this will be a winner. A classic that I hope to read in August is Frenchman's Creek by Daphne du Maurier. If you guys have been here this year you'll know that I've been reading these Virago Modern Classic hardback editions of Daphne du Maurier's book. I think I'm slowly running out of them. I think possibly there's only like a couple of short story collections in these editions. I'm gonna have to move over to paperbacks and start collecting other editions which makes me really sad. I wonder whether Virago Modern Classics are actually gonna bring out more of these because if they do I kind of want to wait for them and not buy paperbacks. Ah, uh, decisions. How do you know? How do you know? Maybe I'll have to just look on the internet. Probably someone knows out there, I imagine. All of the books that I've read by Daphne du Maurier so far have been four and five stars. I have been loving them, so I can't imagine why this one would be any different. I will let you know once I've read it. The only book that I didn't get to read from last month's TBR, I am pretty impressed with that fact, by the way, guys. I read all of the books that I put on my TBR, bar this one, and that is The Angel's Game by Carlos Ruiz Zephon. I really want to read this one soon because I read The Shadow of the Wind which is the first book in this like series and I just want to continue the story because I know it's going to be really really great and I just like I want to get back into his writing. He's just such an awesome writer. I love him so much. So yes, 
this will be red hopefully i mean it is a bit of a chunker but actually most of the other books that i've chosen so far have been pretty small so maybe this is one that i'll read throughout the whole of the month I'll let you know. And the final book that I hope to read in August is a reread, and that is The Northern Lights by Philip Pullman. I hope that's not blinding you. So as you guys know, The Book of Dust is coming out in October, which is a book that very closely relates to this trilogy, His Dark Materials, and so I hope to read all three books before The Book of Dust comes out. So I'll read one in August, one in September, and then one at the beginning of October before the date of the release of The Book of Dust, if that makes any sense. If you've been subscribed to my channel since the very beginning, you will know that this trilogy is one of my all-time favourite series ever. Like, I have been rereading this trilogy since I first read them when I was like 11 or 12 years old. My best friend suggested that I read them and I just, like, I love them so much. And every time I reread them, I have such a different yet excellent experience and so I can't wait to reread them again. I'm pretty sure the last time I read them was a couple of years ago, so I'm definitely due a reread. So yes, if anyone would like to join me in reading these books one a month until The Book of Dust comes out, do let me know. So there we are, those are all the books that I hope to read in August. I would love to hear what you hope to read. Have you read any of the books that I want to read? Let me know down below. I'm feeling very like... Uh, can you tell that I haven't filmed in a while? I just feel a bit like I don't know what I'm doing. Am I making a fool of myself? I don't know. I feel like I'm being a bit silly but I'm just excited to speak to you guys. I haven't feel like I haven't spoken to you in a while. Come chat to me in the comments. What's happening in your life? I'd love to know down below. I've just got a ton of stress. I cannot wait to have a spa day or something after I've moved to just de-stress my whole body. So yes, come talk to me. But as always, I'll leave links to Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, everything I've mentioned today down below. I hope you're all having a fantastic day and I will see you soon. Bye!